from Porcio Top Velocity.net, pitch analysis here, auto. Kind of pair them up with Bob Wheatley. So take them both out of leg lift. You're going to see Bob Wheatley is picking up a more momentum out of leg lift. And I can see that because his trunk is moving away from the rubber. <clears throat> Excuse me, Otto, I can see your trunk is staying over the rubber. So we want to we want to feel that momentum in the trunk picking up, even though we want to keep it behind the hip, but we still want to get it moving. So right here, when you're ready to open, not a lot of momentum, shin's still vertical. You can see where, when, right before Bob's ready to drive, shin is linear, okay? He's got a lot more momentum going. So when you open into landing, Okay, your foot still, or it's just coming off, and it didn't, it more just kind of turned over because you really weren't in a, a position like Bob here to drive where, you're, where everything's linear. And then we can see when the hip comes around as the back leg rotates off, the trunk comes with it. So if we go back and forth here, we see your back hip, back shoulder moving together. If we look at Bob, when he drives, he's able to push his hips ahead of his back shoulder. So he gets his hip to come around right here and ahead of his back shoulder. So we call that hip to shoulder separation, okay? And that's because he got his shin angle here, got his shin angle in a linear position with his trunk still back. So that means he's now able to push the hip ahead of the back shoulder <clears throat> with you it's probably as linear as it got, so it wasn't in a position to push forward, just push up. So when it wanted, when it could go, it started to just turn over, not aggressive enough to push it ahead. So now back hip, back shoulders, they synced. So you don't you don't accelerate your energy well, and because of that, elbow pushes out. You can see Bob when he gets. Um, when his trunk starts to go, he's got a lot more energy through his trunk, so his arm pulls back, stays behind the behind his face, and then the trunk continues to carry it forward when your arm carries it forward. So you see big difference in the finish, even though you have a good front leg, like you stabilize, extended your front leg. It's just look at your trunk orientation to Bob's, like a lot more forward trunk tilt out of Bob's. So, you know, things you got to work on are learning how to get down and sit. Like, you know, the stride accelerators teach you to get lower here <clears throat> where your shins are more linear, where you can create more forward momentum. And then you got to get more explosive with your lifting and training. So when you do that... You